All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Species Artificial Life Real Evolution. And today we have these water creatures which are gonna evolve to become ocean monsters. So I have created this temperature pattern right here. We have colder to the west and warmer to the east. If we go over here, you're gonna notice something. So it says reef right there. If we go over here, it's gonna say deep ocean. So these are deep ocean creatures that are gonna evolve here. But if we cross over to this section, it says sulfur lake. And that's what we're gonna evolve today. We're gonna change these creatures right here. We're gonna change them and they're gonna become sulfur monsters. That's right, we're gonna evolve these creatures and we're gonna change this map so that this whole section it's all just a big sulfur lake and these creatures are gonna evolve and adapt to it. All right, so here on the map, you're gonna notice that we have different groups of creatures. We have the creatures in this lake right here, which is definitely colder than the rest of the map. We have creatures up north and then we have creatures in this section, which is the closest to the sulfur lake that we want to create. And then of course we have small pockets all around this bottom half. So these are the northern creatures. Uh, some of them are trying to go on land. And the whole point with this is to try to keep them in the water all right some of them are gonna adapt and that's there's nothing we can do about it but for the most part i want to keep them in the water at this point so i have to increase the water fertility here maybe increase the temperature a little bit just to offset the the changes in temperature from this map all right so we're gonna take some of these creatures and evolve them to adapt to colder temperatures because they're suffering too much and then we're gonna take the creatures over here next to the sulfur area it's a sulfur lake right there you can see it um, uh, we're gonna adapt these guys to evolve to hotter temperatures. All right, so the creatures from the north, they're gonna have this color pattern right here to denote that they are adapting to colder temperatures. So for this guy, I'm kind of like imagining a beluga whale of some sort. Oh my God! That's a weird dance that it's doing. Yikes, dude. It's like a Hawaiian dance. All right, so I think that's cool. <laughs> that seems kind of lewd. You gotta stop moving those hips. All right, my dude. All right, this is gonna be our northern creature. <laughs> I think I might have to change the head scale a little bit. Not that big though. I think like something like this maybe. Yeah, all right. This is our first, our first creation for the northern side of the map. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna splice these guys with that DNA right there. There you go. There you go. Let's do the same with these guys. All right, look at this. So they are evolving. <laughs> Heck yeah, boys, look at this. The northern realm seems to be a rich one, a powerful one. All right, so helping these little guys adapt to the colder winter has been more difficult than I thought, but we are getting some of these ugly creatures right here. Look at him. Look at him. He just died. <laughs> let's revive that guy. All right, let's just reduce the speed here for a second. Look how majestic, man. Look at its face. That is genetic perfection right there wonder in its glory look at the full rotation of that neck holy crap <laughs> and some of them are going on land sadly but yeah whatever i have to increase the, the the water fertility a little bit there just to make sure and actually reduce the land fertility to make sure that they stay in the water and these guys are going to evolve into being the one the sulfur water monster you are about to be submitted one of the most difficult tests in history. I will hit you with so much radiation. You're gonna think it's the end, but it's not. Bam. 10. That's right. It's freaking gigantic. All right, this is showing the enemy that this is a dangerous creature. That color pattern right there, it's bright. You know, it's trying to grab your attention and say, don't you freaking mess with me, all right? When you die, this is the last thing you see. Because here's the thing, in order for this to move, it's gonna need so much energy. And it's gonna need, like, gigantic fins. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. All right, something like this. I like this. I like this shape right here. All right, all right, all right. I feel like maybe the color is a little bit too saturated. Let's reduce the saturation a little bit. All right, that's much better. Now, initially, I was thinking maybe a shark's head, but it's so common, dude. Sharks are overrated, all right? Let's change it for something different. 
Does this look like a Satan's pawn to you? It, it's not. All right, boys. So this is going to be it. This is our deep sea sulfur ocean monster. And now what we're going to do is splice these guys. Let's do it. All right. So it's been a couple of generations and some of these guys are starting to develop the fins here. This guy already has all three of them. Look at that. All right. And they do have the tail. Look at that. They do have the tail. Oh, my God. Look at that guy just pawned. That guy right there just pawned and he has the color pattern. That's awesome. And uh, the hope is that this whole reef and deep ocean section is going to become the sulfur lake. Just like this one right here. And same with this over here. We're going to try to make this a sulfur lake. I don't think we have any creatures there just yet. But let's see if we can create some of them. All right. And we have our first dude. And it's looking straight at me. But I'm not in danger because I just went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is one lazy monster right there. And we have another one right here. Look at that. Stop showing me your butt, dude. Stop showing me the butt. I'm trying to save as many of them as possible because population seems to be fluctuating a little bit. It is capped, though. It is capped. And over here, up north, we still have our beluga whale-inspired monster. Uh, look at this guy. So freaking cute, man. They don't have eyes, though. I forgot to add them. And down here, we have another group of creatures. These guys are going on land. And they are, it seems like they're adapting rapidly to, to the hotter temperatures. And what I want to do here is create another creature. And this one is going to be a creature that could go on land or stay in the water. So let's say I'm going to grab this dude right here and do some genetic engineering. It looks kind of sad and pathetic at this point, but... I'm gonna splice them with some crab DNA. That's right, I want these guys to be able to go on land and stay in the water. And we're gonna see which one of these monsters turns into the one and only sulfur monster, all right? All right, so this is kind of like the design that I'm going for. It's kind of like a crab-inspired sort of like deal that would be able to survive in a sulfur lake. And it also has fins, so, so it can sort of like survive on both water and land. And uh, it's designed specifically to survive in um, like very acidic sort of like uh, in very acidic sort of like environment and I also want to add a tail here So let's do that and it would be what kind of like tail should I add here? All right, so in theory this should work for both land and water. So let's see what happens here We're gonna generate this one <laughs> Some of these monsters are trying to go on land and I need to stop them. Why what are you doing my dude? Go back in the water go back in the water. Come on stop Stop, 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 stop. Reduce land fertility to zero, all right? And uh, I have to increase the temperature here a little bit. We are capped in terms of population, so I should be able to play a little bit with the temperature here and with the land fertility. I don't want these guys to become land creatures. And this is starting to become sulfur. Look at that, sulfur lake. It started to come in here. Uh, this right here is still a deep ocean reef. Uh, deep ocean and we have a lot of these creatures just move towards the deep ocean trying to escape from the sulfur and the sulfur is generated by the warm temperature so as I keep increasing this temperature here the sulfur is just gonna continue to just permeate this whole section right here but I have to do it slowly so that the creatures can definitely adapt all right, you can see the fumes coming from the sulfur lake. And I don't see any creatures here. Like, the closest ones are these. And which are these? Oh, this is the first uh, monster that we created. This one's going all the way in. It's all the way in there. So we need to save this one because it's definitely adapting to that. Oh, boys. <laughs> it is happening. It's happening. They're running away from it. You can't run away from destiny can run away from fate your fate has been decided oh my god look at those these are pretty freaking cool come on all right they're they're really freaking cool let's save these all right some of them are definitely moving towards land which is kind of cool and i like the fact that this is kind of like land kind of like shallow water because it's perfect for these guys it's perfect for these type of guys for this monster right look at this one. Oh my god what the crap what is this creature? Woo. That's nasty right there. These are nasty. All right. 
Holy jeepers, dude. Oh boy, we have them. Look at that guy. <laughs> he is right there. He just died. He just died. Let's save it. Let's save it. Hold on. Hold on. We need to save that creature. Where is it? It's one of these. Save him. Save them all. So freaking weird. I want them to become bigger though. All right. So here we are. The Sulphur Lake is just... What else can I say? Look at all the fumes. It's just expanding rapidly here. A lot of these creatures are starting to adapt. Look at this one right here. That is basically... I mean, come on. That is basically our creature right there. That is basically our monster. So down here in the south, we have these guys. Uh, so these are the crab-inspired monsters that would be able to survive in a sulfur, very acidic type of like lake ocean or whatever sort of like deal and they are everywhere dude look at these guys they are just freaking everywhere and as they move towards the left which is a colder section of the map we don't have the ice caps anymore because i've been increasing the temperature here but as they move to the, as they move to the left they actually complain about coldness over here of course we have our monster our main monster oh and by the way guys we also have these guys up here up north and these guys are just having a great time look at that <laughs> these guys have no worries at all like this section is so cold that even though i have been increasing the temperature they have been so chill they're just chilling but yeah they're having a great time there all right so one of the things that i want to do is place these guys here on land and make sure that they evolve um to to adapt to colder to adapt to hotter temperatures so what I'm going to do here is, first of all, let's pause this for a second here. Let's go to the nursery. This is, like, look at this, man. This is basically, this is basically what I wanted to create at this point. Uh, let's select a target here. Look at this. There's basically no difference between what we have and or our, our initial target. The only thing that I do want to do is change the size here. I want this guy to be bigger, though. So I want this guy to become sort of like a 10. Obviously, we do have some mutations here. So these guys are having a little bit of a tough time there, but they are adapting to the sulfur lake. So whatever whatever they end up looking like, that, that's, that's what we're going to go for. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to increase the water level here. Just increase it a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. All right. All right, so look at this mutation right here. They are definitely adapting to this section of the Sulphur Lake. Sulphur Lake, Sulphur Lake. We have a different type here. This one is uh, still retaining some of the key features, but for the mo it seems okay though, it seems okay. All right, so here we have all the different creatures evolving and adapting. This is the Sulphur Lake. It's going all the way to this section right here. I'm gonna increase the temperature even further you can see that some of these are trying to migrate this way some of these like look at this there's almost none of them here at this point so what i need to do is make sure that they can actually survive in the sulfur lake and the only way that, that i can do this is by reducing it's by reducing the temperature loss modifier so this basically tells you how sensitive creatures are to uh temperature all right so this is the creature that we have so far this is the creature that survived this um sulfur lake look at this <laughs> this whole section is just a gigantic sulfur lake and the only creatures that have been able to survive in it are these guys over here let me just move these guys all the way in here so you guys can see let's just try to keep them alive for the for the for the time being right and look at them they are definitely <laughs> They are a weird creature for sure. I think that's a turtle's head, maybe? They're kind of like disgusting, but you can definitely tell that they were uh, inspired by some sort of like crab DNA, maybe? Oh boy. Holy crap. All right, that's a big one. That is a big dude right there. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Can this one survive in the water? All right, I think this is the one, dude. I think this is the one that managed to survive right there. <laughs> That is freaking amazing, dude. We are at 50 degrees now. And uh, things getting tough, dude. This is definitely getting tough here. I'm going to try to increase the, the, the water level there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they survived in the freaking sulfur water for so long, dude. Oh, boy. We are at 59 
degrees right now. And these guys... Oh no, don't let it... Don't, they can't die, dude. They can't die. We need to keep them alive. We need to keep these guys alive. Come on. Come on. Look at the sulfur, man. <laughs> this is basically acid at this point. Can they survive in acid? Holy jeebus, dude. They sort of can, dude. They sort of can. Look at these guys. I mean, they can definitely survive in there. Some of them are definitely here surviving. So all you need to do is just keep them alive enough, enough time so that they can reproduce and that the offspring actually develop resistance to the acid. So it's insane, dude. This is freaking insane. <laughs> all right. So this is going to be hard to explain, but some of these are albinos. Look at this. We have albino sh uh, monsters. Remember the beluga whales we created for the northern side of the map? Those are these are them. It's amazing, dude. It's amazing, but they they can definitely survive. Look at this. They're definitely in the acid. <laughs> They're in the sulfur lake, and they don't even care. So I think we did it, boys. <laughs> All right. So I think that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>